and Windows 2008 Active Directory if you'd like to check out the result set of policy just right click on the organizational unit you'd like to check on go to all tasks go to the RSOP planning and from here you can choose your container for the computer and user you can also skip to the final as well we can choose the default first site name now we can choose the group that we'd like to check on you can use the, one of the two default or you can click add and pick which one you'd like and this is the security groups to see what they're on again you can add if you'd like you can go to all linked filters or specify specific linked filters if you go to the all linked filters it gives you much more information and this is the WMI filters on the computer itself we'll go ahead and leave that to all and this will go ahead and gather the information it'll show our progress bar go ahead and click finish and now what looks like a group policy comes up but in actuality we have a list of security settings that come up and from here we can this is for the computer side and then this is for the user side so we can go ahead and choose any particular thing we want and it shows us what our policy is now if we have the red X here it means the particular users cannot make any changes to this so the authenticated users cannot go in and make changes. If we were to change this to administrators, then the red X would be gone because we'd be able to make those changes. So anything with a red X on it means you cannot change what's in here. And the policies themselves, if you double click on them, it'll tell you what they are and what they're currently set to.